All right, here's a quick little video of how I reinforced the landing gear on the uh, Electrofly Edge 540T since everybody's been breaking them from what I have read on the internet. First off, when you're using a saw, be careful because I cut my finger almost off goes all the way in and then, then into my finger now. So, yeah, you, you want to use a little caution when you're cutting wood. Anyhow, here's here's how it looks. Um, this is stock. You can see the landing gear bridge right there underneath the battery tray. So, first off, what I did, um, a lot of, a lot of people are breaking this uh, landing gear right here, right here, or they're pushing it up and it's splitting right here and they're breaking this whole section and it breaks upward. So what I did, if I can do this with one hand, kind of get it on an angle with some light, is I cut a piece of, uh, this is one eighth ply, and cut a piece like that. Now, that will fit right in to there. Just like that. And that's going to prevent this wood here from being pushed up because it's in between. And then what I did to bring the level even with this, right there is I cut two more pieces of about a sixteenth inch and they will fit right like I have to do video and do this at the same time they will fit like this so now I've got the wood flush with this down here and this carbon fiber spar. So that wood is flush. And then I'll epoxy those in, and then I cut this. I'm still missing a piece that I didn't grab, but this will go in. There's a tab that slides right over this part right there. So this will go in, let's make sure these are straight, this will go in like this, ah, it's hard to do with one hand, and oh, um, one thing you want to do with this big piece, come on, is bevel the back of it like that because there is um, triangle stock down there so you'll bevel the back of it and it will fit in like so and it will fit flush because I've got those pieces behind it one piece slip down pops right in and now you've got reinforcement that whole area is reinforced and it sits level with all the braces and all the wood and on, all you got to do is epoxy it down and so now the force is spread out the uh, landing gear force is now spread out throughout this whole entire area, even back in behind here. And then this piece will fit right here. I still have another piece that will go in right there. And you can see the way it looks 
on the other side. If I disassemble this other side, you're going to see that wood back there, which stops it from the outer wood being popped up. If I pop this one out, then you see that other piece that I've put in right there. So it just basically stops everything from being pushed up and stops any torque from being pushed back. I hope. But it looks to be pretty uh, a pretty decent design. It's a nice tight fit and just epoxy all the way down here. You don't need a whole lot, just enough to hold the wood. And then the landing gear should hold out on this if you do it that similar way. All right, just a little tip. Thanks.